Hello everybody, this is me again, and in this video I'm going to show you the last part in this series related to navigation uh, using Storyboard uh, in Xcode. Alright, so what I have, I've created an app, a simple app with two view controller. This view controller, controller is called, it has a username and a password. When you click on login, if it's a valid username and a password, it would pass you to this. Uh, otherwise, it will give you uh, an alert view telling you that uh, this is not a valid username and ID. So it's only the only way you can get to here is through uh, a valid username and a password. Okay. Now you could have done this using the uh, segue using the prepare uh, maybe, but uh, this is another way to show you how we can. Uh, get view controllers and uh, present them on in a view. Okay, so what we have here, we have a view controller, just like a regular view controller with not much in it. It has two outlets to the username and the password, uh, and we have another view controller, which is again has not not much in it. This has a run method called logout. Maybe I'll delete it here, and I'll show you. We have to type it again. Okay, so we have two view controller. This view controller has an outlet called username, a label, and it has a variable or a property called user ID. All right. So when I, it's, if it's a valid username and ID, we take the username that they enter, we pass it to this view controller, and it will appear in this message right here. All right, so let's go ahead and start doing this. So how do we do this? Let's select this view controller, code assist, and let's add a method here. I already have the method commented out, but I'll do it again so you can see it. So what I'm going to do, uh, I am going to right click here and drag, sorry, this button here, right click and drag. And then I'm going to call it, it's an action, and I'm going to call it log in. All right. It's a, the event is touch up inside, so connect, no problem. All right. What are we going to do in this method? Let's go to that view controller. And then we go in here. We need to do a simple if statement. We say if. First, let's get those values, the username and password. I'm going to define var, uh, let user or var user ID. I know you could have done it a different way, but I like it. I like it this. Uh, I like to define the variables, not use the text. Okay, so say txt, you know, what do we call it? User, as we call it, we just call it user pass and user ID. Hmm. We can't have the same ID here, so user, and then I'm going to call this user ID dot text. This will give me the user ID, and I'll say var user. Um, we will call it pass. Let pass equal user password, and then we're going to call it text again. That text. All right. So here I will say if. For example, user is equal to ABC. Then we do and password is equal to one, two, three. Very complicated. <laughs> what are we going to do? We want to show the next view controller. Otherwise, we will put an else. And this else would say alert view, let a equal alert UI alert view. There is an alert controller. We'll use that in another video. And then we'll say uh, the alert view is this one. We're going to say mm, be careful. It's a funny message. And the message we're going to say be careful. We are watching you.
Okay. And just a funny message. And then the this is nil. Cancel button. Okay. Stop trying. Stop it. Okay. All right. So this is the title of the button. Okay. Uh, we need to equal here to equal here. Okay. Now let's try it and see what happens. So what happens is if I type in anything other than ABC, I do log in. Oh, we didn't do the connection, so it wouldn't do anything. So we need to do that connection. Uh, why is this not doing that? It should show me an error message. Hmm. One way to do that, make sure that we are connected. All right. So we will put uh, a debug point here. To see why is this not happening, not working. Okay. It is going there. So what's going on here? Oh, we didn't show the alert of you. Sorry. So we need to change. This, uh, this is a very common mistake. So you say alert a dot show all right so that works now if you do this ddd doesn't matter log in mm, be careful and then we are watching you okay stop it that's the button all right i didn't hide the keyboard but you can do that now what we're going to do if it is valid username and id we want to get access to the view controller and here's the tricky part. This is the, I mean, this is what we want to cover in this video. We have the custom view controller, which is called main screen view controller. In the storyboard, you have view controller. This view controller has a storyboard ID. So you can give it a name, main VC, for example, main view controller. All right, this ID is important. Now, in the view controller, when if it is valid, what I need I need to do three things. First, you get access to the storyboard. Then, from the storyboard, you get access to the view controller. Then you present the view controller. All right, I've done this already, so I'm gonna copy them and I'll explain to you the different parts. Okay. All right. So this is the first part. I get access to the storyboard and notice the name of this storyboard has to match the storyboard name here. So if it is main, main. If you have a different name, then you will use that name in here. The bundle can be nil. Then you get access to the view controller. Remember, I call that view controller main VC. So I use the storyboard, which is this, instantiate, instantiate the view controller with an identifier. So I'm creating a copy of a view controller that exists in the storyboard and I use the ID that I gave in the storyboard for this view controller, all right? Just to make sure it is correct, I'm gonna copy it in here and then I'll paste it in here. Okay, I know it is, but just to make sure, okay? Then this gives you a view controller. After this, you need to cast it to the custom class that we associated it, that we, we specified for that view, second view controller. So I say as main screen view controller, which is this. Okay, in that view controller, I have a property called user ID. So I will pass to it, I say user ID. So I'm gonna just type these for you. Okay, I'll just type and explain them. So. In the view controller, the new one, it says VC dot, we have, I think, user ID. Do you see that? This is the property. Equal to what? To the ID that user that we got here. Okay, so now this will assign it to the other class. I'll assign this property in the other class. Then you can say a self present view controller you see this present view controller 
And the view controller we want to present is called VC because I called it VC right here. Do you see that? VC. All right. And animated. Yes, I want it to be animated. Well, it used to be yes, now it's true. And there is no completion. This is, remember when we did the views and the animation, and this is a block basically. What do you want to do when you present the view controller? Okay. All right. So that is all it takes. You get access to the storyboard, instantiate the view controller from the storyboard, you set any values in the storyboard, and this is how we pass information to it without the prepare segue, and we present the view controller. Now, if we do this, watch what will happen. If I type in uh, ABC, and then here, one, two, three, do log in, I will get that second view controller with ABC in it, okay? That ABC was from the first view controller. Now, how do I do log out or I exit the screen? Well, what you can do, you go to the second view controller. We will first just go to the main storyboard. We need to do what? With this, we need to link into an action, all right? And how we do this, just like we used to, used to do, we put an action, and, and then here we say log out, and click on connect, finish. And then all you have to do in here, you say, you issue command self dismiss view controller. Just like when you presented animated, dismiss uh, view controller animated, you say yes, and completion is nil. And that's it. That would be the logout. All right. If you run it, if you do log in, ABC, and here, one, two, three, and then do log in, and take you to the second view controller, log out, and these values are there. Now you can clear them, okay, and you can clear them in two ways. One way is that you can do it in this class, the presenting view controller here. When you present the information, you got what you want. So you can just say uh, user ID, what do we call those two outlets? Uh, it's called user ID and user password, right? User ID dot text equal to blank and user ID that pass equal but user password sorry the text equal to blank okay so when you come back they're gone okay so when you do one two three a b c and then one two three log in log out they're gone all right so that is the last part in navigation now you could do a lot more with this but again this should get you started uh in terms of the three ways you can have navigation in a storyboard one is using the segways with the modal one with the navigation view controller and one with the standalone view controller but you need to instantiated in the program and you present it using present view controller okay now if this was uh, it has a navigation view controller you can uh, this will change here instead of dismissive view controller you will have to say just like we did with the navigation view controller you say pop uh, view controller all right, we'll see you in the next videos. In the next video, we'll ta start talking about uh, table views, and we'll probably cover it in about four videos. Uh, and that should give us a good understanding of the UI in uh, iOS.